If you make time for each other, you will hear the sound. It's the sound, where's going to come from? Heaven. And what does that mean, hearing <coughs> the sound from heaven? Yeah, what does that mean, hearing the sound? <coughs> God speaking to each of You're each to one them. of us and telling us the reason why we were created and the purpose of life. Come on. So what do you do when God tells you your purpose for your life? Go and do it. You have to go and do it. Sometimes? Sometimes? When God tells you, what do you need sometimes? You need your... You need your confidence. Wow. And what's going to help you with your confidence? Hmm? What's going to help you to have the confidence to do what, the, what God has said? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Wow. So we, we, when the Holy Spirit helps you, what happens then? He gives you what? What does the Holy Spirit give you? What did he give on the verse? The Holy Spirit gave them one. You have to speak. Yeah, they teach a speaking tongue. So when you have the Holy Spirit, what is he going to help you to? With the assignment. Well done. He will give you, he will help you with the assignment. Amen. Amen. together learning from one another and we need time to share from each other amen. amen i have learned a lot from that verse because it reminds us of the importance of having time amen. it happens on the day of pentecost and i believe that if we can take on the same example of spending time together we will surely hear the sound amen. sometimes the reason why there's too much noise and this Corruption in our houses is because we don't have the together. We haven't heard the sound together. Because when we hear the sound together, I don't have to tell my daughter what the right thing is. Because he, she will hear the sound. Amen. And because we are praying together, I don't have to be busy correcting my husband. The sound will tell him what it is he has to do. Amen. Amen. That is the importance of spending time together. And it's not easy. But the Spirit gives us the ability. Amen. 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 Can I welcome you to Keith Green Branch Music? Yes? yes. I Bible reading comes from Numbers chapter 6, 22 to 24. Amen. 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 The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Ah, amen. Amen.
shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you me. Yeah, do you know? You know what's on, verse 1? Yeah. 
It's in the Bible. Find it in the Bible. <laughs> Missing pastors, you've got another thing coming. They have got words, they've got a word embedded inside of them. Amen. If Reverend is not here, we'll be just fine. <laughs> we have a word, amen. 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 Uh, we're going to pray um, for the children around the world. Amen. Uh, for Reverend, we pray to you, Lord, that um, you give the, all the children around the world a happy Christmas and a nice dinner, and that they can also see um, their family. Hallelujah. Uh, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I'm sorry. <laughs> See that? Pastor Beata, you've got a competition right here. A prayer. <laughs> so we need to meet up. You have to be looking at your team. Yeah. Yes, if you see potential here, meet up with your prayer team. Yeah. And he is one of them. I see you. I see you. I'm telling you, midnight is growing big. We might not have to be doing it alone, my husband. There is a man here. We are going to enroll him. I think we had... Come on. Come on, Tasha. This is where the spirit leads. It works in our Sunday school too. Amen. Amen. As the spirit leads, the Holy Ghost is working. The spirit gives you the ability. Remember. Amen. Is it Genesis? You're talking about Genesis at the beginning? Or you just want it? What do you want to say? A song, maybe? Say it. Say it. Jesus is faithful, Jesus. Because Jesus just loves you. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Amen. That's what she wanted to let you know. Amen. After the January to December, Amen. you need to hear it one more time that Jesus loves you. Amen. Sometimes you get a bit tricky. February. I'm sure it was not just me that it got a bit harder. So I need to remember it was not that it was not my daddy tempting me, but God loves me. Amen. Can you clap for the spirit of God who just used me? Well done, We thank God for that. I needed to hear it. I don't know about you, but I needed to know that He loves me. That's a confirmation for you and a confirmation for tomorrow too. He loves you. Amen. 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 Okay, we've got Kia, we've got a duet. Oh, so we go for Esther. Shall we do that? Shall we do you? You've got something to do with us. Don't surprise me, Esther. We've been through this together. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to be speaking about the reason for the season, but before I speak about that, I just wanted to read um, Matthew 1, verse 1 to 17. Um, I, found this, I found this really interesting because it talks about the 14 generations and Jesus' relatives, basically. So, um, I'm going to read it. This is finally, oh sorry, this is the family history of Jesus Christ. Oh, Matthew 1, verse 1 to 17. Matthew 1. Mm -hmm. This is the family of the history of Jesus Christ. He came from the family of David. David came from the family of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah was the father of Perez and Zerah. Perez was the father of Hezron. Hezron was the father of Ram. Ram was the father of Aminadab. Aminadab was the father of 
Nasha. Nasha was the father of Salmon. Salmon was the father of Boaz. Boaz. Boaz was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of King David. David was the father of Solomon. Solomon was the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam was the father of Abijah. Abijah was the father of Asa. Asa was the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was the father of Jared. Jared was the ancestors of Uzziah. Uzziah was the father of Jotham. Jotham was the father of Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah was the father of Manasseh. Manasseh was the father of Amon. Amon was the father of Josiah. Josiah was the grandfather <coughs> of Jehoah. After and his brothers. After they were taken to Babylon, Jehoshaphat was the father of Shealtiel. Shealtiel was, was the grandfather of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was the father of Abed. Abed was the father of El Elakim. Elakim was the father of Azim. Azim was the father of Zodak. Zodak was the father of Akim. Akim was the father of Elid. Elid was the father of Eliezer. Eliezer was the father of Matam. Matam was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Joseph. Joseph was the husband of Mary. And Mary was the mother of Jesus. Jesus is called Christ. So there were 14 generations from Abraham to David, and the 14 generations from David until the time when the people were taken to Babylon. And there were the 14 generations from the time that people were taken to Babylon until Christ was born. Amen. Amen. So the reason for the season is not because of traditional practices. The reason for the season is because of our salvation. This is a time that we need to remind people about accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And it is a time for us as a family as families to re to reunite together, to minister to one another about Jesus and why he's here and the reason for him to for us to accept him was because he Sorry. Um, yeah, so as families, we should reunite to minister to one another about the reason why Jesus was born and the reason why Jesus was born for us to be saved. Amen. 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 Okay. Did you hear the message? Amen. Amen. Have we been doing this? Amen. We have to share the reason for the season. Amen. Because sometimes we can get carried away with the presence on the tree. Amen. How many do you want? What do you want? What is Santa bringing? There is no Santa. Santa's my not my son will tell you there is no Santa. no Santa. Mommy and daddy brings presents. So it's a matter of you sharing your beliefs in the house. Amen. So they know something different from what the world knowing. Mm. So as they go there, they're spreading good news as well at school. Amen. To tell them Santa is a human being that wears a costume. Just like I wear the whole costume sometimes. Have you seen me? Yeah. So we are all, <laughs> these are things that we need to be sharing with our children. Amen. They need to understand why do we make a big deal of Christmas? Amen. Why is it that the, everybody else, it doesn't matter what, what, what denomination they are in, when it comes to December, everybody is on a rush hour. Mm. There is something much more to this than just going shopping. There is something much more than Primark shopping and wrapping this stuff. Why do we wrap them? Explain to them why we wrap them. Explain why the tree is there. There is explanation on Google if you don't know. Mm, amen. But they need to understand it from home. Because if you don't explain it, somebody else at school will explain it. And they'll hold on to that because that's the first thing they heard. Mm. But we need to start at home. Family time together. Children with mommy together. Bedtime stories together. Bible stories together. Amen. Because the, if outside they make big deal of reading stories, we have to make big deal of Bible stories. Amen. Because that's the only place they will know it. 
Some of our children don't go to a Christian school. The very fair place they're gonna hear Noah one verse one, it's gonna be at home. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Can, I, can I have worried music, please? Our children, let's sing. Are, are you ready, Destiny? Kiandre, Kiana, TJ, Tawonga. Let's, let's go, Tasha, Tapiwa. That time has come again. Let's go. Let's show them what we have been doing. Amen. It has been a fantastic three, two, two and a half weeks. We have done it. Amen? Come on. Okay. I'm of thinking of the mic. Do you think it's a good idea or let's just sing? Yeah. I want to hear you. Yeah? Yeah? TJ, you want the mic? You're going backwards? That says now? You want the mic? Okay. You have the mic. Yeah. But how are you going to show the signs with what? the mic? No, yeah. so, the mic. I think the mic, I think we need to take the mic. So you can do exactly what you Just want. Just sing it yes, loud, yeah? No, 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 we are not having those today. Okay. Okay, then Esther, what do you remember? Yeah. So. Show them, he's got the whole word. One, two, three. Cha tapiwa? 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 Stand there for me. Here. Yeah. So. Are you ready? <coughs>
be on the driving seat Someone. we are looking at pastors we are looking at evangelists amen. we are looking at teachers right now you can just look at them amen. and I see greater beyond yes Jesus loves me amen. and I'm telling you give them two three years from now amen. they will amen. be doing their point say stay in your land too amen. <laughs> amen. so I don't know just in mind whether you are employing people but we do have talent mm -hmm. because Amen. we have a poem coming Amen. so i want you to learn one two things or three Amen. there is a point right yes. show them what we've got too yes. we had a point yeah, yeah Amen. The okay so we've got the first one is shakaina nia and eliezer There is much more to Christmas than candlelight and cheer. It's about thoughtfulness, kindness, and hope reborn again. A Savior's birth to bring peace on earth, we praise God most high. When looking at candy canes, all I can see are stripes that are red like the blood shed for me, and white for my Savior, sinless and pure. As it's Christmas, we must sing like the angels above to praise our Lord Jesus, the one whom we love. Can I just ask, was that on the internet anywhere? I don't think so. Where did you get that? Uh, I just wrote it. Can you put your mic on? I want, I want to hear you. Where I just you? wrote it. You wrote it. So wow. you wrote it. She wrote it herself. Can you hear that? Wait, 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 where can I find it? Can I Google that? I can't find it because it's not yet published, right? Okay, so just divine, you've got you, you've got competition. <laughs> she can write her own points too. Wow, well Give it done. to your sister. Well done. Thank God for December, a time to remember the things that God gave us, and that we should cherish the season, the reason why Jesus was born, the story of Christ, and how God made him the Almighty Son. One day he will come in the form of the Spirit, of the Father's child, to bless us, to guide us, to show us the way, to act so we can see another day. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. I told you. Wow. Did you hear poem in two wow. times? Yes. Wow. <laughs> two times. Yes. And that was done by themselves. Just to find, you need to find a partner. Yes. <laughs> yes. You need to find maybe for this this to rise up. We need a partner to just be flowing like this. Yes. And that was written too. Yes. I think we can frame this up. Amen. Can you imagine framing this up in your bedroom and waking up and just doing one two one two? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Christmas to December. My husband says you and me. Happy Merry Christmas. That was fantastic. I like that. We can, as a matter of fact, I think we need to frame this stuff. Oh yes. I think it's very nice to actually know that there is talent in this team, and they took time to put these words together. And it's not just just words, but it's meaningful. Christ, the reason for Christmas, and I think we need to frame that. 
and we're just gonna hand it all out and say who can buy 20 pounds <laughs> who can get 15 pounds and see how much money we can do in this family right amen talent like this we have to make use of the family. Amen. We are all rich. Can you see? Amen. If we can make use of what we have, yes. we might be going to Nairobi, Kenya. Amen. <laughs> On Christmas. Maybe me first. Yes, family? Remember me first. We have another point? Yes, we've got two more. Oh, yes, Jemima. Where were you, Jemima? All of the years go by so fast, each is like a flash. December is the last, December is the best. Each brings great things, but December brings Christmas in the end. Christmas is more than a day in December. It's all of those things that we love to remember, like the birth of Jesus. I don't know about you, but I'm melting for Brother Dave. I just feel like she's just... Take you just brought it out, my like, friend. You want to do that again? Because well, I didn't hear it properly. Do it again, do it again. Wow. All of the years go by so fast, each is like a flash. December is the last, December is the best. Each brings great things, but December brings Christmas in the end. Christmas is more than a day in December. It's all of those things that we love to remember, like the birth of Jesus. We need to learn skills on poems. Oh, Valentine poems. It's all over here. Do we have one more? Guys, these people, these children are writing their own. Amen. They didn't Google. Google was available, but they didn't choose not to. That is commitment to me. That shows that they have got skill and they wanted to show you what ability they have. It's your turn. The white Christmas stars shine on high, golden stars in the wintry sky, Christmas candles in the windows bright, scent beat into the night, while in a hug the Christmas wind rose with a love like his who came, the infant Christ of the lonely bird, to bring good food and peace of earth. Jesus is the gift. Jesus is the gift. I'm telling you, I am telling you, we have been wasting time. We need to get on the bus and we need to go and learn from these children. I think right now our brother Dave needs a prayer. Uh, Destiny, Abba Father prayer. Now right now, come and pray for brother Dave. He needs the spirit to help him. He needs to know what path to take, what direction to go. Is he gonna use a liaison, Shekinah, whatever it is, destiny. Speak a word on the man of God. Our Father, he was in heaven. Give us this daily bread and forgive our trespasses. Now Our Father, he was in heaven. Give us this daily bread. Take your time, don't rush. Calm down. Calm down. Our Father, you watch in heaven. Give. How loud? How How loud? How will be our name? My kingdom come. I will be done perfect in heaven. Give us this daily bread and forgive our trespasses and forgive our trespasses against us. I trespass us against us. Lead us from temptation, from deliver us from evil, from the fire, from the fire in the kingdom, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Can you receive that? Yeah. You're saying, lead us not to temptation, but in this, this afternoon there's temptations everywhere. <laughs> I see temptations everywhere, Brother Dave. Yeah. What direction are you going to take? Yeah. This is your prayer. Lead me not to temptation, my Amen. God. Amen. Deliver me at this point. Amen. Because I need you to lead me to the path that is right. Amen. For the sake of your name, my God, shepherd my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Michael, do you have a verse for us?
think you need to get the mic from there because we can't be standing on the same level. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I, I have a few verses. But um, I'm, I'm going to be saying a few verses on what Christmas is about. Uh, Christmas is all about God's love for the world. As John 3:16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Christmas is also about giving, just as God demonstrated by giving his son to us. Isaiah 9, um, verse 6 says, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will, will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. 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 It's not just about parties, presents, and eating. Well, don't get me wrong, if you offer that to me, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> but we are encouraged to give throughout the year, not just to our families, but to everybody else. Um, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 16 says, And do not forget to do good and share with others, for with, for with such sacrifices God will be pleased. Amen. 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 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 and 7. Remember this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves cheerful givers. Amen. Amen. But he's got it embedded in him. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, we've got we've got we've got it going on at Warwick. Amen. I don't know where you have been praying, but they're Amen. here. Amen. Warwick is here. Amen. And it is showing you what he's got. Amen. Of all people, I think I am proud. I don't, you don't understand. Amen. I am looking at them and I'm seeing potential. Amen. And I'm looking at them and thinking, next time can we do this every every month the reference? Yes. Because I think it makes them get excited to come to church too. It makes them look forward to thinking I'm doing something and there is something I have to do at the end of things. Yes. So it makes them expectant instead of just thinking, oh my God. I remember my, my daughter was saying, I think church is boring. And I said, God, why? Why? Because I get hungry and it takes too long. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we are going to use. They say, going to come to church because you have to do this. And they will look forward to something instead of just thinking it is just Sunday school coloring here and there. There has to be substance. Amen. Amen. There is a song, Destiny Changes. Kiana can never stop telling me she has been a fan of this song from the time she was younger. Before she can go to sleep, she will tell me sing. And sometimes I don't feel like there is a destiny <laughs> And she's like, sing, mommy, sing. And I'm singing it thinking I don't see him. But there's moments when she, I'm singing it. And the more I'm singing it, I start hearing the words of the song. Amen. And then I look at it, I'm thinking, I'm sure it's God center, so I can hear it. Wow. That there's surely a destiny changer. Amen. That song has done me wonders. Can I have you come and sing it to them too? Destiny changer, Keandra and Kiana. Yeah. 
things. If you've got it on your phone, it's okay. You can find it. Yes? We okay? Give us the key.
Okay, then the dancers can stay here. The rest can go stay down.
ready. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Why to be ready? there. Amen. Amen. What does that it says let just let go and let God. Yes. Sometimes it's very hard to let go because we are people who are used to doing things on our own. Come on. And we fight it and we think we need to help God in dealing with humanity. But that song always reminds me, letting go is not easy. Letting go means you have to just be free. Free hands, free mind. Setting yourself free and allowing God to use you. And sometimes that is not easy. Because when you're going through a situation and you're, you feel the need to want to speak or to correct, and when God is telling you, I just want to watch and pray, it can be a very tricky place. I have been there where God is like, okay, Take a back seat, just watch. And you're thinking, but I've got the word. I think I've got the word of the season. And I need to speak into his life. And he's saying, that's, that's, this season is different. I just want you to watch and pray. Because he is all powerful. He can fix things but all by himself. He's all knowing. And he knows the reason, exactly your purpose. He knows your assignment. He knows he has the plan for your life. So when sometimes God is speaking, just like the verse earlier, He says you have to be the have the confidence to do what He says. Sometimes it's hard to do what He says because what He says doesn't make sense all the time. But it doesn't always have to make sense because He's the one with the plan. Yes, Lord. So if He has the plan, He doesn't say I'm thinking about the plan. He says I know the plan. Wow. Somebody who knows and somebody who is trying to figure it out. They are two different people. And if there we are, most of the time, trying to help somebody who already knows. We are trying to push our will on somebody who put you together. It doesn't make sense. But we still do it every day. We are trying to fight God from January to December. There has been something that God told you and you didn't do it exactly how he said it. There is something that he instructed you to do and you haven't done it because whatever you're doing feel, felt better than whatever it is that you were saying. Wow. And I was reading this verse, the, mess, the, 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 the Christmas story. I love it because every single time I read it, I get something different. Matthew 1 from verse 18. Just going to go up quick there and we'll pray. Matthew 1 from, from verse 18. He says, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was placed to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with a child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous, righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. I, I stopped there for a minute to think of a man who, who feel disappointed with soon to be her wife. They were engaged, it was on Twitter, it went viral, and everybody has seen that they are now engaged soon to be married. Mm. But sooner or later, Mary's coming with a story, I'm pregnant. And she's saying the Holy Spirit. And Joseph is looking at her thinking, we all know the bio biology. I mean, Holy Spirit, who has done that before? And he is in his mind thinking, she has cheated on me. She has disappointed me. I trusted her, but I'm sure somebody else, she failed to do something on somebody else. And that's pain. That's disgrace. That's disappointment that she did not, he did not expect. And the Bible says he was considering. The verse says he wanted, there was something in his mind and he didn't want to expose her publicly. And I wonder how many of us know the difference between matches that we need to solve publicly and those that we need to do it privately. I have seen marriages having been ended on Twitter, on Facebook, videos, how he cheated on me, I'm exposing how he cheated on me, and we do things nowadays just to get likes. And we forget now how to care for one another. How is this going to make the other one feel? Is me feeling pain, the reason I need to cause you pain to, or am I supposed to learn from this? And just like Joseph, he says, I, I decide, be, being a righteous man, 
he did not want to expose her or to disgrace her. Mm. He was in pain, but he chose not to disgrace the woman who was disappointed. I pray that we will learn how God, how God can give us wisdom and how to learn, how to deal with the affairs of our lives. In our marriages, with our children, in the ministry. You know, there are some things that you feel like, I'm going to talk to them. Because you feel you have the mandate to do so. But when the Spirit of God is saying, this is not the time to do it, don't do it. Even if you know your husband for 20 years and he has done something that you actually feel like, I'm going to fix it tonight. When he comes home, there is, we are starting with no dinner. And when there is no dinner, it means I'm going to ask, where have you been? From the door, he hasn't even taken off his shoes. Wow. You're asking, where have you been? You said you were coming. And now we put things, the apps on their phones. I, I told you were supposed to be back by 10 past. And now it's half past. Where did you stop? You forget there's traffic lights. But you're calculating because it's pain, isn't it? It's going through you. And what I like about verse 20 says, but after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. He was considering to do something to, to end up his marriage. He was considering to let go of Mary. My question is, what are you considering at this point? What is it that is in your mind that you're considering? Because it could be somebody considering murder right now. It could be that you're considering, I don't, I can't do this anymore, I'm giving up. On this marriage, I don't think it's working. It's the thoughts you're considering. They're not yet publicized, but it's that you're considering. And it's my prayer that just like how it happened with Joseph, the same salvation he got for his relationship with Mary, I pray that my God will help you too. Amen. I pray that he will come through for you and in every affair that concerns your life. If you are considering something and you're questioning God on something, you're doubting something, I'm praying for you that you will have a supernatural intervention from heaven. Yes, May he come through for you in a dream. Let him speak to you. Let him use somebody. Let him show up in your life. Amen. As the year is ending, just like the verse is saying, I'll read to you. And, and he says, she will, and, and he told Joseph and says, Mary, take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit had to confirm for him what was happening with Mary. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sin. I was looking and thinking, saving. What is it that needs saving in your life? What is it that from January until now, you are still looking for a savior? Is it your marriage? Is it a sickness? Is it your children are playing up? Is it your career? Is it your finances? The Bible is saying Jesus was born to save people. And he's still in the business of saving. Amen. So I want you to consider that in this season. Because sometimes we go through January to December, we lose our manure, the anointing. We, the fear has come all over us, and we have doubted God. We don't trust him. We may be 50-50. But the Bible is saying that Jesus died, and he had to bring about, he will say. It's not a thing of he was think, he's thinking about it. It's a guarantee that he will save his people from their sins. He will save you from whatever issue you might be going through. He will save your children. He will save you from that sickness. He will save you. And I continue to say your finances are going to be saved. They are saved. So it's a matter of you knowing what your God says from this verse. When you know he says saving, whatever it is that looks out of control, you are supposed to bring it back into the saving boat. To say, my God knows how to save. Jesus has come. So in my home, whatever looks impossible, Jesus will save his people. We are not here to fight over each other. We are not here to try to fix one another. That was Jesus' assignment. Sometimes we get into ahead of ourselves. 
I want to fix you, I want to fix her, I want to fix us. We cannot do that because that was Jesus' assignment to save people. Our assignment is different and we have to stay in our lane to know that saving is for Jesus. So whatever is saving, we take it back to Jesus because his business is about saving and he knows well when it comes to saving people. So whoever might be that needs saving in your life, whether it's your husband, you will stay there with this verse open up and say, save my husband. Amen. And you will stay there until you see this aversion come to pass. Amen. If it is sickness, you don't give up before it happens because Jesus will save his people. Amen. So you have to stand there and say, save me from this cancer. Save me from this bipolar. Save me from depression because you are still in the business of saving. Yes, if my finances are out of control, save my finances. Give me the wisdom that I need. If it is a job, give me that. Open up my eyes to see where I need to stay, where I need to go, who I need to connect with so I can know what saving looks like. He was bruised for your transgression. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. I looked at that and I understood. He jumped out of me and said, God is with us. Amen. Not only January. It's not only when you feel like he's with you. Even when you're going through pain and you're questioning, why me? God is called Emmanuel. God with us. Amen. I want God to be with you. I want you to remember God is with you. I want you when you go through the new year, remember he's with you. When you finish now and you go into your bank account, remember God is with you. Amen. When you come next Sunday and you look at the empty chairs, remember God is with you. When you go home and you see your husband again, you say again. Remember, God is with me. Amen. When you see your wife nagging, my gosh, not again. I, I was at church. Remember, God is with us. Amen. And he is still in the business of saving his people. Amen. I Amen. want you to stand on your feet. Because I don't know what you have been considering throughout this year. It could have been a good thing. It could have been a negative thing. Mm. But God is in the business of saving his people. Hallelujah. And you, I want us to pray and say, God, I want you to show up in my life. Mm. First Corinthians 10, 13 says, No temptation has ceased, but that which is common to man. Mm. God is faithful. With every temptation, he will make a way. Mm. With every temptation, he will make a way. Hallelujah. So it may look like there's only temptation coming, but every problem has got a solution. What you need to do is go back to Abba and say you are in the business of saving your people. I want you to show up in my life. Before the year ends, I want you to show up in my family. I want you to show up in my children. I want you to show up and show up again in my ministry. Father, I know that you are still in the saving business. There are still nations to be saved. There is still my relatives to be saved. There are still children that need to be saved. There is still me, my mind go out sometimes and I need saving. And I want you to say, God, show up in my life. Show up in my life, oh God, before this year ends. I want you to show up and show yourself stronger. I want you, whatever it is in my life that needs saving, I want another touch from you. Lord, I know you know me by name. I know you know the numbers of my hair on my head. And I'm coming with confidence to say, show up in my life, show up. Show up in my life, show up. Ancient of days, show up. Save me, save my mind, save my family, save my ministry, save my children. Save me, save me, save me. Save me, save me, save me. Save me. Save me. I thank you for the cross, the blood that continue to speak greater things. It reaches to the highest mountain. It goes to the lowest valley. I pray the same blood will speak greater things over your ministry, over your children, over your marriage and over your household, over the nation and over this country, over Zambia and Nairobi in the name of Jesus. We are praying and we are believing. You will say you will never leave nor forsake us. You are there for Mary. You are there for Joseph.
that you cannot do? What is it that you cannot fix? What is it that you cannot put together? What is it that you cannot solve? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it that he cannot do? Miracle worker. Come and do a miracle. Destiny changer. Come and change something. Change our lives. Change our minds. Transform us so we can see you. Transform us so we can see potential. We thank you. We thank you. We bless you. We bless you. We give you glory, mighty God. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. God, you are with us. God, you are with me. God, you are with this nation. Yes, you are with this country. You are with take home 
Is that okay? What do you say? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And that's your poem gift from Uncle Dave. I hope that you'll have a fantastic end to 2021. And in 2022, may God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for listening, everyone. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, for now, all right. Kids, stay here for two minutes. What? Uh, on this time, I just want to take this opportunity because after this, we've got two things that we're going to go because we got a praise. We are hungry. Mm. Amen. <laughs> How many are hungry in here? <laughs> this thing is coming. Amen. <laughs> so I just want parents to come and stand here. We'll take pictures with the children. Amen. Amen. I'll take pictures and uh, maybe Pastor Paul as well. But you can come in front, Pastor Paul. I'll take pictures. I'll send everybody. Amen. Amen. If I don't have your number, that's not my problem today. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Amen. So I'm going to finish that from here. Amen. Amen. So we can take pictures. And God bless you, all the viewers online. Thank you. God bless you for tuning in. You have been a blessing. May Jehovah bless you. Bless your families. Bless everything that you do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we continue. We pray for you as we pray for us. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Innocent Montani, Jeremy Church. God bless you, everybody, who has been tuning in today. May the name of the Lord be blessed. Get that to God bless you, everybody. In the name of our Lord. If you can come with flying parents, everybody else, come on, let's take pictures. Come to us, Christmas. Amen. Hallelujah. Man of God. Let's go. I don't want to. Come on now. Everyone has his own, please. Come on, everybody. I'll try to take us. Uh, there's still a little bit of space there, yeah? So if you can squeeze in. You know where you know, like, okay, Where are Brother Dave is standing? Yeah. 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 Sister. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.